Now for question number eight from Pure Mathematics 2, International A Level at Excel, June 2019, a question about logarithms and exponential equations. Here we are asked to find the exact solution of the equation 8 to the power of 2x plus 1 equals 6, giving your answer in the form a plus b log to the base 2, 3, where a and b are constants to be found. Okay, so in this type of question here, you see that you have to express your answer to the log or in the log to the base 2. So what would be sensible here would be to take log to the base 2 of both sides of this equation. So you take log to the base 2 of the left side and you take log to the base 2 of the right side of the equation and there we've got started. Now what we can do here is we can write this using the power law, if you remember the power law. If you have log to the base b of a to the power of c for example, okay that power can become a product. So that would be c times log to the base b of a. Okay so that 2x plus 1 can multiply the log to the base 2 8 and you see here they want log to the base 2 of 3 so this 2 to 2 log to the base 2 of 6 can be changed as following we can write this as a product of log to the base 2 of 2 times 3 because 6 is equal to 2 times 3 and then we can start splitting that up using another law of logarithm so all of these questions are basically um, revolving around the same laws of logarithms now we got 2x plus 1 times log to the base 2, 8. Now log to the base 2, 8 is actually equal to 3 because what this means is 2 to the power of, what this means is 2 to the power of something gives you 8. So 2 to the power of something gives you 8. That something is 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Okay, so this is actually a 3 here. Log to the base 2, 8. Okay, its value is 3 because 2 cubed is 8. Okay, so we can write this as 2x plus 1 multiplied by 3 and here I can split this up using the law, law of logarithms which is log to the base a of for example xy is the same as saying log to the base a of x plus log to the base a of y using the product rule okay that it splits up with addition so this is log to the base 2 of 2 plus log to the base 2 of 3. I did that so that we end up with the form that they want, log to the base 2 of 3. Now log to the base 2 of 2 is 1 because 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Okay, so here we're going to have 6x plus 3 when you multiply that out equals, and this will be 1 plus log to the base 2, 3. Now we have to just um, solve the equation, meaning you've got to find x. So we got to rearrange this equation. So what I can do is subtract 3 from both sides. So I have 6x equals 1 minus 3, which is minus 2, um, plus log to the base 2, 3. And then I can divide both sides by 6. So if I divide the whole of this by 6, now they want it in this form where they're separate terms. So I'm going to write it as separate terms. It would be better to do that. So minus 2 divided by 6 is minus the third. And you're going to have... 1 sixth times the log to the base 2 3 so this is expressed exactly in the form that they want they want log to the base 2 and they want to have a 3 there okay and the numbers around it so we can see our value of a is minus one third and the value of b is one six so a is minus a third and b is one sixth and there we have part a of question number eight part one of question number eight now for part two of question number eight it tells us to use the laws of logarithms to solve this equation okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, when you have like a qu an equation like this I want to bring the logarithms to the same side okay now there's a lot of ways to do this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make my life easier by keeping this number as positive. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides and I'm going to take away this from both sides. So I'm left with 2 log to the base 5 of y plus 1 minus log 
to the base 5 of 7 minus 2y. Okay, so now I'm going to use the power law because I'm going to want to combine these together and I can only combine them together when I don't have this multiple. So I'm going to use the power law. So I have 1 equals, I'm going to have log to the base 5 of y plus 1 squared minus log to the base 5 of 7 minus 2y. Now what I can do is I can combine these together as one logarithm using the subtraction law. So I'll end up with a division. Again, you have the law log to the base a of x um, minus log to the base a of y. have to be the same basis. is the same as log to the same base a of x divided by y. So, you know, the, this, this is how I can combine them together as a division. So I have 1 equals, so I'll have log to the base 5 of, and I'm going to have y plus 1 squared over 7 minus 2y. Now I can use my definition of logarithms, as we said log to the base a, b equals c, actually means a to the power of c equals b. This is the base, this is the power, and this is the result. So this is the base, this is the power, and this is the result. So I can say that y plus 1 squared divided by 7 minus 2y is equal to 5 to the power of 1, which is 5. So now I can proceed to solve this equation. So I can, I can get rid of the fraction, so I can multiply both sides by 7 minus 2y. So I have y plus 1 squared equals 5 times 7, which is 35, minus 10y. Then I can expand. So I have y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals 35 minus 10y. I can add 10y and subtract 35 from both sides. So I have y squared plus 12y minus 34 equals 0. Now this one factorize because 34 um, it splits up into 2 and 17 and they won't split up anymore because they're both prime numbers. So therefore uh, you won't find two numbers that will also add up to give you 12. So therefore we have to um, either complete the square or use the formula. I'm going to complete the square. So y squared plus 12y equals 34. So y plus 6 squared minus 36 equals 34. And I have to add 36 to both sides. So I have y plus 6 squared is equal to 70. 36 plus 34. Make that a bit neater. So now I can take the square root of both sides. So I know that y plus 6 is going to be equal to either plus or minus the square root of 70. Okay, so we can have two possible solutions, maybe, we'll have to check. Plus or minus the square root of 76, negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 70. Now, what we have to be very careful of is to make sure that those answers do satisfy the equation. Because with logarithms, you can't have uh, the log of a negative number. Okay. So... This can never be zero or negative inside here. Okay, because the logarithm graph go like that, it never the x can never be zero, okay, or negative. So let's check to see if these values um, so let's check let's check minus six plus root seventy and see if it makes any of these negative. Okay, so let's check. We've got 7 minus 2 times minus 6 plus root 70. Whoops. Okay, that gives us a positive value, so that's fine. And I'm going to have minus 6 minus root 70. Okay, uh, over there, of course, it's also going to be positive. So that's fine. 
Okay, because let, let me just check this other one first. Okay, my seven minus two times minus six minus root seventy. Okay, that's going to give me also a positive value. That's fine. Um, that's using the negative. So let me try it for this one. So we're going to have uh, minus six plus root 70 okay and plus 1 okay whoops plus 1 that gives us a value which is positive that's all right and then if I put here um, minus 6 minus root 70 plus 1 now that gives us a negative value okay so this minus 6 minus root 70 is not going to be acceptable because this makes that part negative okay so the solution is y equals minus 6 plus root 70 only plus the root of 70 only that's the only solution the reason being is when I substitute this into one of these logarithms, it makes it negative. Okay, both of these were fine in that one. But when I substituted this into there, it gave a negative value. Okay, therefore, um, that is a value that causes the original equation to be undefined. So, therefore, it's not a solution that we can accept. So, the only solution is y because minus 6 plus root 70. Many students lose marks in this type of question because of that very reason they go on to solve the equation and they think they've got the answers but they have to you always make sure you check do my answers make any part of the original equation okay undefined and you can never have the log of a negative value because the logarithm graph looks something like this okay and it never touches x equals zero so it can never be zero or, or, or less than zero this part here okay so that's very important point in answering such questions.